Quick little video here for um, for him, Patrick. Basically, I've got my messy setup here. I'm just about to rebuild all this again with a higher power IGPTs, but nonetheless, before I take it apart, I've been playing with a couple new codes Lebowski's made me. One of the things he's added to the code lately is a acceleration limiter. This setting here, with it allowing it to accelerate at 30,000 electrical RPM per second, gives it a zero to 60 time of roughly one second or less, because it starts reducing the current when it hits that number, and it cuts the current off acceleration current to zero when it hits that number. So let's just see what that sounds like when I accelerate at that setting. So that right there was from zero to 200 and back down to zero, or just about 200 kilometers an hour back down to zero. So now, um, based on the, I just gotta double check. Yeah, based on, this is set to be roughly, um, the Ford speed limiter is roughly 200 kilometers an hour and it basically quit accelerating based on where it got to. So now what I'm gonna do with H is I'm gonna set it the other way. 9, let's set that down to H. I usually have it at 9 for um, to allow it to accelerate to 60 in roughly just over 3 seconds. So I'm going to put it down to 3. And then we're going to put it to, say, 6. So it's going to allow it to accelerate a lot slower. And then save that. <clears throat> so this is how slow it accelerates now. See how it slowly accelerates? And the reason it decelerates so fast is I have the regen turned on quite high inside the car, so it's regening back down to zero. So now let's go back there again. And let's actually set that one more time to one, <clears throat> just to prove that if you're, like, if you have this really weird scenario where your airplane prop loses traction, which I don't even think is possible, um, it will not accelerate to full RPM uh, if it has this set correctly. And Sevcons have a setting like this that you can play with quite a bit as well. So I haven't played with the Sevcon too much because I don't like them. And I will though because I have a couple zeros that I ride around. I'd like to make sure they don't spin up as fast as they do. So now this should not allow it. This would be 0 to 60 in a boat. Um, probably 18 to 20 seconds. I think that's what that works out to with all the gearing and everything. So let's try that. Make sure I saved it. Yeah, I did save it. Okay. Look at how slow it accelerates. So you can hear how well that works. And basically all I'm doing is, this is my throttle right here. I'm just pinning it full throttle right from the start. So let's go back to where I normally run it at. D, H, 9, and 12. And like I said, this, this setting right here gives me a 0 to 60 time in just under 3 seconds. Like 3 point, or sorry, just over 3 to seconds. About 3.2 seconds, I believe it is. Um, that doesn't, the car doesn't achieve that because it doesn't have the traction. I set it there because once I start breaking loose, I let off the throttle. I might actually play that, put it a little lower, but with the slicks on it at the track, it should be able to achieve something close to that. So that's why I have it set there is because I don't want it to be limiting me. I'm going to make proper traction control before I do that. So we'll set it back there just for an example. <clears throat> and here we go again. And that was probably three quarters of the max RPM. So there you go. That's how easy that is to stop your prop from hitting max RPM in a split second.